These two locking up early on. Ray overpowering. Certainly has the size advantage over Mickey Muscle. Mickey. Caught by Ray Waddell, and it's that ridiculous power of Superstar. But Mickey able to counter with his agility. Goes for another flying cross body. Into a fireman's carry here. Oh! oh! That's gonna sting tomorrow. Up high, Mickey Muscle! Big flying cross body. One, two, and... Near fall. Hard right hand for Mickey Muscle. Mickey using everything he's got against the big man. All it takes sometimes is a thumb to take your opponent down. Ray Waddell showing he's not afraid to bend the rules. Certainly not above playing dirty. But we don't know if he will be in the biggest battle royal or not. We assume he will be. A cocky move by the superstar there. But uh, Ray Waddell has the distinction of eliminating more people than anyone else in the WWE across his years here as a competitor. Yeah, he, he's certainly uh, no slouch in a battle royal situation. Big kick. And a pin, one, two. No. Although there's been no official word from Ray Waddell on the battle royal, we do believe he will likely jump into that foray later. It's just too big of an opportunity. Yeah. Possibly be able to get all. Oh. He, he might he might play dirty, bend the rules to suit him, but uh, he's also ambitious. Maybe maybe even more so than most of the people on the roster. An opportunity to possibly win the the championship. But, oh! oh, that's gonna be it for Mickey there. A hard pin it. A kick out. But an opportunity in the Battle Royale for Ray to become champion once again without having to directly fight Rochelle oh. Whitaker. You no, know he's not going to pass up that opportunity. Right. Uh. Even Tim the ref clutching his chest after that one. You can just feel the impact. These chops are so hard they've got to be frozen. Waddell's chops be pork chops? I, I would imagine so. Are you calling Ray Waddell fat? That's the second time you called one of the Waddell's fat. No, sir. You called Absol CCW a whale. Absolutely not. And you're calling his brother a pig. <laughs> I absolutely did not. Ray Waddell going up top.
nobody home. Ray Waddell in a world of pain. He really should knock first to find out if somebody's going to be home. Call ahead, something. Well, perhaps he did call ahead or telegraphed it even. <laughs> better forms of communication. Mickey Muscles on a on a bit of a tear here. Dodge in. Oh, what a maneuver. Up top. High risk maneuver. Oh, lands on his feet though. Spinning punch missed. A flip. It, wow. Mickey Muscles extremely quick. Hurricane Rana. And Ray Waddell looks exhausted trying to keep up with the speedy muscles. What's well, the, the smart move here from Mickey Muscle? Oh! <laughs> and just had all the intelligence knocked out of him. That spinning punch. Oh! oh! That's going to be it there. And it is. It's over. Mickey Muscle had a good run at it. Definitely took the right approach, but still not enough. Just the sheer power, the He's, raw power of Ray Waddell. Mickey Muscle's not doing any more flips for a little while. You're watching WWA Amplified. Hope you're enjoying some classic matches from WWA's past. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any WWA action. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at WWA is now. Event info, news, and more can be found on our Facebook page, World Wrestling Alliance. That is extremely odd. That is a very rare thing. We might actually have a fair match here. Oh! Incredible counter! By B. Wood. Benny Bray thought he was going to rush him. <laughs> nice move off the apron. Diving on to Benny Bray. And B. Wood, full of excitement here tonight. Oh! Bray stuck in the ropes. B. Wood pouring it to him right now. Opportunity right there, didn't he? Well, something's blue. Be careful what you ask for. Liz. B. Wood putting a hurting on Benny Bright. Yeah, he's taking him to school right now. One, two. Not quite enough yet, but B. Wood is just running a, a clinic here. But it's really interesting for Benny Bray as he normally go to school on a uh, shorter bus than normal, but. Oh, 
Oh no. Benny Bray pulls him out of his tight. Is that a belt? A streamer? Looks like uh, it looks like a belt. Purple and black, it looks like it would belong to the swag team, honestly. <laughs> Are you being choked out? Come on, Tim. Tim the ref. Is it an illegal object being used? Oh! oh. That's not fair. You know, I spoke too soon about this being a fair match. Of course, he's got a trick up his sleeve. He's part of Knight Enterprises. Still, the fact that at least a few other members of Knight Enterprises isn't here ringside is conspicuous. Ray would be wise to try and finish this off instead of taunting these fans here. Snapmare with the belt wrapped around the neck of B. Wood. The last time Benny Bray said that, he shortened the possibility of children. Courtesy of B. Wood. Well, it's about time. Referee taking that belt away. People like Benny Bray just have no respect for the rules. If only there was a referee in there or something. To maintain order. Oh, and oh, he's got, got that belt, belt again. Gee whiz. Swing and a miss. A second. And he struck out three swings and a miss with the belt. And a big knee to the chin of Benny Bray. Running Bulldog. This could be it right here. Turnabout is fair play. It's B. Wood taking Benny Bray to the woodshed. Off the ropes. One, two. Only two. Almost had him there. Nice distraction <laughs> move by B1. One, two, and three. That's it. B1 Good wins. On this match, B1. If you are looking for the hottest WWA entrance music, be on the lookout for Hysteria Through the Curtain. Volumes 1 and 2 are packed with your favorite WWA themes, including Tyler Hawkins, Jordan Whitaker, 747, Alexander Knight, Ray Waddell, and more. You can find it now on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. Just search for World Wrestling Alliance. Need high-quality pro wrestling gear at a great price? Look no further than Power Trip Pro Wrestling Gear. Each piece is handcrafted with the greatest care and quality possible. They even do a lot of gear seen on WWA Hysteria. For quotes, examples of work, and more, head over to facebook.com slash powertripbwgear.
Teddy King staying true to his uh, his philosophy of allowing title shot to anyone who challenges him. How's he bitten off more than he can chew, though? With a mysterious Trent Passion. Well, we have seen that veil of mystery peeled back a few times, at least, as we've seen him in action in recent months, but still, we're much more familiar with the in-ring stylings of Teddy King than we are that of the newcomer to the WWA, Trent Basham. I think it's fair to say that Teddy King is one of the most well-rounded athletes in the WWA. He's uh, able to adapt in, in a way that I don't think a lot of the other guys in the locker room are able to. He can brawl when he needs to brawl. He can wrestle on the mat when he needs to wrestle. And then he can be a powerhouse as well when that situation is called for. see much out of Trent Basham, but if these two know each other as well as Mr. Basham suggests, this might be a matchup that far greater equal footing than we may realize. Off the ropes. Amazing series of counters. And there you go, that is two opponents who know each other really well. No doubt about it. If I've ever seen it, no doubt about it. These two. It's what happens when, when someone's your sparring partner for a really long time and then you find yourself in a match with them. It's like you know what they're gonna do next. Trent Basham will gain an advantage any way he can, even if it is a bit underhanded like we just saw there. Textbook backbreaker. Smug look on Trent Basham. I think it's a little too soon to get arrogant when you're in the ring with someone like Teddy King. But you know, a lot of times we talk about in a lot of matches we've seen Teddy King, we often give him the strength advantage or the conditioning advantage, but Trent Basham is in excellent condition. He looks like he trains every bit as much as Teddy King does. What do you say? Come on. Nicely executed suplex from Basham. Covers. Only good for a two count. A lot of ripples in the WWA. A lot of waves, really, with Basham were to come in here this quickly and win that belt. Yeah, I mean, we, we often talk about Teddy King's meteoric rise to the top here in the WWA, and wouldn't that be something if his uh, arch nemesis, former tag team partner, were to come in and take that away from him, too to be an even faster rising star. And obtain that title from Teddy King. Action now spilling to the outside. This is not an no OGQ match. It can be counted out, but of course Teddy King will retain the belt if that happens. Our referee, Donnie Classic, administering the 10 count now, trying to get these two back in the ring, trying to restore some order here. No love lost between these two. Up to a seven count now. 
Let me continue to fight here. Hey, King breaks the count. So close to it. Ten count. Teddy King now up on the oh, guardrail. Wow. This is dangerous. This is dangerous territory. Fans getting their money's worth there. Teddy King gonna go up top here. Seems a little risky if you ask me, but if he can land it, risk has rewards and a missile drop kick. This is why he's the champion. <laughs> he knows when to take those risks. Well timed, certainly. But we've never seen him go into something with so much emotion. With, with something other than just the prize on the line. Oh! Too Bash long up there. Able to get those knees up. And that double knee looks like it literally took the wind out of the sails of Teddy King. Wouldn't it you? Absolutely. You're also assuming I wouldn't already be winded by this point. <laughs> I don't think there would be any wind left in the sail at that point. But, uh, I'm halfway winded just sitting here talking about it. <laughs> hear the pain coming out of the mouth of Teddy King. I don't know if our fans at home were able to hear that, but Trent Basham saying there he's going to break his ribs. Got him tied up in the turnbuckle there. Hard kick to the rib area. Teddy King finding the shortcut to the top here. Much of this match as he did in his career. Nice takedown to the top rope and a... Single count with a solid clothesline from the top, but still not enough to put away Basham. You want me to chop him? Yes, they do, Teddy. Solid punches. Uh oh. Oh, oh, wow. King in a bad position here. And. Oh! <laughs> Basically, like a, a Michinoku driver off the top rope. Trying to rally. Now, just looking at their two faces right now, neither neither one of them looks 100%, but Basham just looks looks a little more into it right now. I, I don't think this is about the gold anymore. I'm not sure it ever was. What a maneuver. One, two, and... Now, this is a very personal contest between these two. I think the uh, the world title is just the icing on the cake. 
Fishman suplex. Does not end in a pin. Teddy King literally saying, what's it gonna take? The belt is an afterthought in this. Oh, the head being driven down and then once again down to the mat. And the strength of Trent Basham. A triangle choke being applied on Trent Basham. That's quick thinking from Teddy King here. This is, this is that adaptability that I was talking about earlier, how we've seen Teddy King just adapt to whatever situation he finds himself in, and then we see him pull out moves that we've never really seen him do before. Let's it go. Perfect form on the triangle choke. And then back down. As we witness the power of the challenger. That's it, it's over. What? Teddy King retains. It was a hard fought match. But the champion remains the champion. Teddy King come out victorious, but you're thinking the exact same thing I'm thinking right now, aren't you? The match might be over, but the bad blood between these two, it's just begun. It's you got to think that Wait, what's going to happen here? Teddy King extending a hand. These two men, we've, we've heard hints that they were once partners, at least in some fashion. Show of sportsmanship here from Teddy King. Extends the hand for a handshake. And he's gonna give it. Nice show of respect from the challenger, Trent Basham. Ah, uh, all right. And Trent Basham leaves as mysteriously as he came in. Will we see this man again? <laughs> 